Now, your KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. Beautiful day today, a little breezy, but the temperatures were up. We had some low 70s, Santa Cruz, Ben Lomond, San Jose at 70 degrees, upper 60s for Hollister, low 70s, Gilroy, low 70s in the Salinas Valley. And then right in between, we had middle 60s, Watsonville, Salinas, Carmel Valley, and Monterey topped off at 63. But of course, it was a little breezy and cool right at the, uh, the water's edge, as they say. 79 in Sacramento today, 59 in Tahoe. The hot spot Palm Springs at 86 and cooler. Uh, down in San Diego, just 70 there while it was 79 in Santa Barbara. So uh, that sea breeze can it can do wonders uh, depending on your location. Uh, 57 in Seattle right now, so fairly mild throughout most of the West. And you can see there's this little dip here in temperatures. Only 30s in Detroit right now, 42 Chicago, 40 in Boston. That's that's pretty chilly for uh, an April evening. A little bit of rain moving out of Denver and a little bit of snow actually in parts of well, Pennsylvania, interior New York State, and Maine getting some snow, and they may get a little bit more of it as a system develops. Track it coming out of uh, basically Texas and then riding up through uh, the deep south and then coming all the way northward through Lexington, Washington, Richmond, uh, Buffalo, Boston, and again, parts of Maine may see some snow on that back end of this guy. This is on Friday, just kind of giving you a heads up of what other folks across the nation are getting. We have a few thunderstorms tonight out of Oklahoma uh, pushing towards Kansas. I'm watching those, but so far nothing overly severe, although there have been a couple that have been getting close. You can see some moisture still wrapping around that area of low pressure off uh, to our east. Uh, most of it uh, starting to wind down. A few showers and thunderstorms out towards Las Vegas this evening. For us, it's high pressure. Our next front is right here, but it's not headed our way. It's going northward. You can kind of see we have a big blocking ridge right here, and that's what's providing us with sunshine and warmer temperatures. Here are the numbers right now. 79 in Sacramento, 55 in Tahoe, 83 in Palm Springs. So yeah, it's hard to believe, right? It's still in the 70s to near 80 for the Central Valley, while the coast, of course, has cooled down with the afternoon and evening sea breeze, which we have a good healthy dose of right now. Uh, that will start to subside overnight. You can see we'll probably have some low clouds around the bay in the morning. That's at about, you know, six, seven, eight o'clock. And then we'll get rid of those fairly rapidly with a north breeze, which should be a little less than today, although we still have small craft advisories up for the bay tomorrow. And some folks are going on the bay. Again, if your boat is in the harbor, you can get out. Uh, then you're welcome to do that, of course, and you will watch out because small craft advisory conditions do develop again in the afternoon, so uh, be cautious there. 46 to 50 overnight, partly cloudy. We'll put in a little patchy bay fog, otherwise that kind of cool to chilly temperatures. Some 40s for the valleys, around 50 at the coast. 66 to 79 tomorrow, so we have that range, and here are the temps for tomorrow afternoon. 68 San Francisco, 73 in Oakland, 77 in San Jose, so we're up Another four or five degrees, middle 70s to upper 70s, Ben Lomond, Scotts Valley, Santa Cruz at 75, 68 in Aptos, Watsonville 70, 66 Moss Landing, 69 Prunedale, 75 Hollister, 79 in Gilroy, 76 in Coralitas. Salinas Valley looking real pretty tomorrow, 70 Salinas, upper 70s to near 80, swinging into King City tomorrow at 79, some low 80s possible out towards the Pinnacles. And 70 here in Salinas, 66 Marina, 65 Seaside, 67 in Monterey. And again, we'll see that breeze in the afternoon. So upper 60s and middle 60s coast to low to mid 70s. And then 70 mid 70s to let's say near 80 by Friday for the valleys and hills. So just a little bit of an uptick in temperatures, kind of steadying out and holding through Saturday. And then a little dip as we head through next week, at least early next week. And then we might see some really warm weather middle of next week. Of course, that's kind of long range forecasting there. But... It says maybe some spots getting into the middle 80s, middle of next week. 40s and low 50s overnights. We'll do some low clouds, some fog, but it's a nice pattern this week. Enjoy it if you can get outside and get that walk in. It should be lovely. Walk the dog 20 times a day. Yeah, multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> That's your excuse right there. Yeah, right there. That's it.